Miss Danielle here and I have a word for you. What's meant to be will find its way. So some of us were worried about, you know, a relationship that we lost or an opportunity that we may have lost or, you know, a situation. We're just worried. I want to remind you that whatever is meant to be in your life, it will find a way. Sometimes it may leave for a season, but it might come back. So you just have to be in a place where you're trusting God. So look, the verse for this video is Philippians 4, 6, and it reads, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Another translation says make your request known to god like i said some of us were worried we don't understand like why we took that l like that or why why did they leave or why did this happen or why did that happen i want to remind you that god says don't be anxious meaning don't have anxiety do not be worried because a lot of us were worried we don't understand like why this happened or why that happened and when you are in a place of anxiety, it can literally like send you to the hospital. Panic attacks. And if you've ever had a panic attack, you know, that's not a good feeling. It feels like you're about to die. God doesn't want you to be walking in that spirit of fear. And the root of anxiety is fear. You're scared of something. Something has your spirit off. They say that you can get anxiety from the foods that you eat even too. Because like the chemicals in the food these days. Or it can, you know, be a spiritual side of things. Some of us, we are being promiscuous and living a life of sexual immorality. And I want to remind you that there is a transfer. Those spirits on that person that you let in into your body or let in on your body, if you're a man, um, the spirits are coming into you. That's why it's important to only have sex with your wife or your husband. Because you you only need one person that you got to deal with. And this person that you're with, they got a lot of stuff that they already been through. So all that stuff is coming on to you and everything that you've been through is going on to them. So some of us were having anxiety because of the lifestyles that we're living. We're in a, a lifestyle that has us, we are on edge. We are <laughs> paranoid. You feel me? God does not want his people paranoid. He wants us to have peace. Yes, we got to watch our back in this crazy world, but he don't want you to be anxious about anything. It says about anything. This is about money, relationships, people, your life, your health. He don't want you to be anxious about nothing. It says, but in every situation. So everything you're going through, every relationship, every situation, every L, every W, it says by prayer. So look, prayer is important to God. Prayer is direct connection with the Most High God. When you pray, God hears you. And like heaven opens up and he's he's hearing you. Can you imagine looking outside and heaven opening up? I got a window right here and I can see outside and it's a beautiful sunset. Like every time I look at the sky, I think of God. I think of all of my family members who I've lost. I think of just how God created the whole world. It's just a beautiful thought to have. Like when God hears you pray heaven opens up like he can hear you so always be in a place where you're praying praying is easy like you talk to god literally like you talk to your your homie or your sis or your bro or your friend you can talk to god the same way it's called prayer and look he tells us prayer petition and thanksgiving it's three things but he put prayer first so that means that prayer is really important to him and then in petition that means you're you're asking like lord can I have this? Can I have that? You got to think about what the word petition means. Let me give you the definition of it because I really want us to know what these words mean. I think knowing the definition of words is important because it gives you a better understanding of what's going on. Um, so petition means that it says a formal written request, typically one signed by many people appealing to authority with respect to a particular cause. So again, it's a request. It's a an argument. You're trying to appeal something. You're going to the higher power. It says the authority or respect. If y'all know, like sometimes they have you sign petitions on social media for a certain cause. Like I know there was an ad for a while for the um after those school shootings, the Sandy Hooks uh victims, like they, they lost their kids all those years ago. They was having people sign those petitions. Like a petition is something that you sign and then the higher power will see like, oh, a million people sign this petition. So maybe we should take it into consideration. God is saying the same with him. When you go to him in prayer, you 
you have a petition you have something that you're you're bringing to him it's a it's a cause you're trying to appeal something you're trying to have him look into something he says this about you know everything that you're thinking that oh my god i lost this i lost that i lost that this video is called what's meant to be will find its way it will but you got to pray about it so look and then it says with thanksgiving we got to be in a place where we're thankful this world has made us lose gratitude and you know we're ungrateful for everything and god doesn't like that He's always talking about gratitude, humility, thanksgiving, um, praise, worship. He always wants us to be in that place, in that posture. So you have to be thankful for everything in your life. You have to go to God in prayer. You come to him with the cause. And you have to be thankful for the things that you are going through. I want to remind you, thank him for the good and the bad. Because at the end of the day, it's all working together. Everything works together for the good to those who love God and to those who are called according to his purpose. Be thankful for everything you go through. Everything is a lesson or a blessing. And both of them, you should be thankful for the lessons and the blessings. So look, and then it says, present your request to God. Make known your request to God. That means you got to talk to him. He got to know. Like God already know you and know your heart and what you're thinking and what you need and what you want. But he wants you to say it. The same way, you know, I was just talking to somebody about this the other day. I said that, you know, women, they want to. Uh, they like words of affirmation. They want their man to tell them how they feel. They need to know that you love them with your words. You need to tell them that. You can't just be showing them this and that. They need to hear it too. The same thing applies to God. He want to hear how you feel. He want to hear how you feel about him. He want to hear how you feel about what you're going through. He want to hear your words. So take some time out your day to talk to God. And just remember that whatever you lost, whatever you, you worried about, and whatever, you know, it ain't really working out in your favor right now. Don't worry about it. Pray about it. That's what's going to fix your problem is prayer. There's so many times in scripture that people begin to pray. And that's when their shift happened. That's when things change for them. Or they, they fasted. Fasting is important as well. Or they separated themselves. They had a season of isolation where they didn't have no more distractions. They was away from every distraction in the world. And that's where God changed them at. Sometimes you got to... You know, take take that time out and you got to have your isolation season. You got to go into ISO. ISO, ISO. I remember when I was on the basketball team in high school, there, we had a play called ISO. And basically, it isolated the um the point guard or something. I don't remember the play, but it was called ISO. You got to go into your isolation season. You got to cut off these distractions because at the end of the day, they slowing you down. They stopping you. So many people are distracted by this world and all of the worldly things in it. All of the devices, all of the materialistic things, all of the money. Like, people are so distracted and it's scary. It really is. It's so scary to see how many people are distracted. Because they're missing out on life. Like, your your life is passing you by. And you're not even focused on it. And that's a shame. So many people, they let distractions ruin their relationships or their marriage. Because they couldn't focus on what was important. It's a few things that's important to God. God cares about his son, Jesus Christ. He cares about the way you respect and honor him. He cares about the type of man or woman you are. He cares about marriage. Marriage is a sacred institution that God blessed us with. He cares about the way a woman conducts herself. He cares about the way a man conducts himself. He cares about family. He cares about love. You know, relationships are really important to God. So you really got to be, if you have a relationship in your life, taking care of it. Because God is watching you. And that should be enough for you to get in line. You should be doing everything in your life like God is watching. That's how I live. Mind you, I used to be a high head. I told you I, I got delivered from a vicious tongue. Every day is a battle for me. You feel me? I was just talking to my sister about this the other day. I said, every day is a battle it really is. It's like, it's ongoing. And I was like, I wish God would just deliver me from, you know, the the way I'd be battling stuff. But he's not. It's always going to be there to, you know, make me grow and make me better. And the same goes for you. Some of those things that you are struggling with or facing or some things that God may have delivered you from or, you know what I'm saying, that aspect of self-control, that's always going to be there. And it's going to be there to hold you accountable and keep you in the right place so just remember that don't don't worry about nothing pray about it instead and remember that what's meant to be will always find its way so look i pray that this video blessed you i love you god bless you and i'll see you next time